Hey guys, we've got our brand new 795 XST from Extreme Boats and we're just getting it ready for the game fishing ahead. Uh, we've got our beautiful ocean blue stainless steel outrigger bases and our 19 foot carbon poles. And uh, I just want to run through um, how I've rigged my outriggers on this new boat. Anyway, we'll put them down and you'll see here how quick and easy it is to put your riggers out on this. There you go, she's all done. We just pull down here put the tension on and our riggers are ready to go and set in place. Now you'll see here on our riggers um, how I've rigged them. I have this little piece of line in here. Uh, I like to keep everything as simple as possible. Uh, it's double looped around here, comes back through itself. And then what it does is that by loosening it and pulling it down, I can actually control how much tension I have on my riggers. So right now that's where I'd have it when I'm running it during the day. Um, if I want to put the riggers back up again, so all I need to do is pull a bit of tension, loosen that off, and then pull the riggers up, lock them off, simple as that, and then when we want to run in and we want these to be tight, we don't want them rattling around on the boat, same thing again, just pull it down to the desired tightness. So it takes a little bit of tuning when you're setting them up, um, but once you've got it in the right place, it works really well. It's a simple system, they don't move. So we'll just put it back out again. There we go. Go out. Got that tensioner rope there. Pull it down. And our poles are nice and stiff. They've got a good bend in them. When we get a hook up, they're going to get a good crisp release on them. Now the one thing that I would recommend you doing when you are out there fishing for the day, never leave this loose. Tighten it right up. Because then you don't get any rattling in it, but it'd be horrible to see the, the bolt come off the end of it and uh, not be able to lock it up. So yeah, make sure that's always tightened up when you're uh, trolling for the day. So the way that we've uh, rigged up our riggers, we'll start down at the, um, the pulley system that we've got down here. We always use the Hell Locks. Uh, they're fantastic pulley, uh, but they've also got a locking device in there as well. So they lock off um, your halyard line so you don't get any, any creepage when you're trolling. Uh, and it's very easy to um, you know lock them, unlock them. Yeah. We've also got a little shackle in there and we've got a little quick release clip to um, onto our little piece of uh, rope that we've got here as well to hold them on. So we have a double bearing pulley for the first set of pulleys there because we're going to have two halyards going through it. The middle eye we have a single bearing pulley and on that middle eye we also on the outer halyard it actually slides back through the eye not the pulley and that one pulley is for the smaller halyard. And then right at the tip of the pole, we have another um, ball bearing um, pulley up there. I love to use the ball bearing pulleys. It just makes the, um, the line or the halyard slide through it nice and easy. For the halyards, I like to use either 400 or 500 pound mono. It just seems to slide through nicely. Um, and it's nice and easy on your hands as well. When it comes to the, I guess, the business end of your um, outrigger halyards, um, this is the way I've, I've always done it. I've done it on the big game boats and, and also on the trailer boats. I have this little, I call it a sacrificial piece. Okay, so this is what makes up the working end of your halyards. Um, it's a short piece of mono, roughly about 530 millimetres long. And we have our little blacks clip on there. That's actually held in there. It's got a little crimp inside there that we, we just crimp it on. And that stops that from going up and down. Uh, on the bottom, we've got our, our crimp onto a small stainless steel eye. Uh, the stainless steel eye we, is used for when we're teaser fishing or, or running teasers. We can run our rod, um, our teaser rod up and that line will go through there and back out into the lure spread. So we have a little stainless steel eye on there. That eye can also be used for if you want to clip on another clip onto there as well. So really handy to have that there. Um, moving up we've got the clip that we just talked about with the crimp in there to stop it moving and then we have a stainless steel swivel um, which is um, crimped on when you go to put this on you can then uh, adjust the tension to get your halyard lines right it's really important when you put your riggers out and you're putting these on to get them adjusted so you've got the same amount of tension so now he's having one tight and one loose you want them to be about the same so it's a little bit of a tuning practice uh, when you're setting up your riggers before you crimp them and then once they're crimped off on the on the top of the sacrificial piece of line and on the bottom of it we have a little uh, rubber sleeve that goes over the crimp which then protects the pulley when you're bringing your halyard down you don't want that crimp to be going into the pulley and then we also have one on the top crimp so it doesn't go into the bearing pulley on the top of your outrigger poles. 
when I'm making up my um, outrigger halyard lines, uh, I usually make them all up together, make them all the same length, get a felt pen, uh, mark the centre so I know I've got this in the right place. So it's like a little production line, make them all up at once, and then you can start crimping them onto your halyards, and it just makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to sort of do it all in one hit um, when, they're, you know, when they're made up together. When I'm uh, doing all my crimping, I like to make sure I mount the end of the line, uh, just a little bit of added security to stop um, any of that mono slipping through the crimp. It also helps when you're trying to pull it up nice and tight in the crimping process. The only one that you can't actually uh, burn is that bottom one, and that's usually the last one that we do up, and that's when we put it up there and we're pulling it down to try and get the right tension. Once we get the right tension, a good tip is to pull the mono up and then crimp it, and then obviously you're going to put that protective sleeve over it to protect it. So that's really the only one that we can't burn. So there you go guys, that's how we rig our outriggers. Um, huge thanks to the guys at Ocean Blue Outriggers and Bases. Phenomenal product, we've been using it for years now and absolutely love it. And uh, happy game fishing guys, looking forward to the season ahead. Adios.